All right, so before we start the scavenger hunt, what we're going to do is we're going to go into Notability. And so notice how in my Notability, I have so many um, files and none of them are organized. When you are going to be downloading your math assignments um, and they go into Notability, if you don't organize them properly, they're going to be in a whole mess like this and you'll never be able to find what you're looking for. So what we're going to do is we're going to make a folder for you to download um, your math files into. So you click that plus sign and then now we're just going to name it. So you can name it math program, you can name it algebra 2, geometry, I love math, anything that you want. And this is where um, when prompted we're going to put all of our math assignments. This way they'll never get lost and your life will be so much easier. All right, so um, what we're gonna do next is I'm going to open up um, the scavenger hunt. So yours is gonna be um, in your math class. So we wanna download it on Notability. So what I do is I go into the upper right hand corner and I'm gonna save it to, or I'm gonna open it in Google Drive first. And then after I open it, I want to also make sure that I download it. There we go. So now that I've downloaded it, I'm going to open it up with Notability. So see how I have Notability in my um, little list of scrolly guys? If you don't, click that three dots. And then you see how if you click edit, all these green dots appear. You can click the green dot and add Notability up to your favorites. So it will be one of the first things that you see. So your life will be a lot easier when you are downloading these items onto Notability. All right. So I'm going to go back. I'm going to download it to Notability. I know that um, I'm downloading the correct thing because I see the picture. I'm going to click Create New Note. And now I'm going to make sure that it's going to the correct subject. So I click it and I make sure that it's going to the math program. Then I'm going to click Import and it's going to go straight to that folder. All right, so now if I open up Notability, there it is. Okay, so now that we have done this first part, I'm going to give you your um, keyword, and your keyword is Cougars. All right, so lastly, before I forget, you want to take a screenshot of your um, page to show me that you did, in fact, make a fo folder. Um, so you take the top of your iPad and the home button, and you click them, and that should do a screenshot. So the great about, part about Notability is that it's so easy to add screenshots. So you just go to the plus sign, your photo library, see the cute baby photos and then it says where today is they're kind of faint but you can select it import photos and there you go so it's really easy to move it and let's just resize it down so everyone's life is easier and that's how you need to take a screenshot for each of these assignments sounds good all right all right so next we're going to be going to Desmos so go to desmos.com on your Safari browser Let's click get ready to graph and so what you're going to do is you're going to reference back to Notability and what you're going to do is you're going to enter in each of these equations into Desmos. Notice how they're not just equations but they also have domain restrictions. So this is going to make our lines um, not go on forever and ever and ever which is super helpful for one of the challenges in Algebra 2. So notice how when I write or type in y equals 0, I have this red line that is just going forever and ever and ever. However, notice how those domain restrictions are there. So negative 5 is less than x, which is less than 5. 
So I'm going to go back to Desmos and I'm going to type these in. Make sure that the entire equation is within the brackets. All right, so now see how my line got smaller? This is what the domain restrictions will do. So what you're going to need to do is you're going to need to go back to Notability and you're need to, going to need to fill in each and every one of these equations. If you want to change the color, all you have to do is go and you see that squiggly um, red thing next to our equation. Just tap your finger or your cursor on it and this little box will appear and you can choose which color you want. So once again, after you enter in all the equations, take a screenshot of the picture that you make and you're going to be pasting it in your Notability Scavenger Hunt PDF. Once you do that, I'm going to give you your keyword, which is house. Next, we're going to be opening up the HP Prime app. And basically, this app is going to be another tool you're going to use in addition to your calculator. It's going to be the exact same thing. You can use your HP Prime calculator to do basic algebraic functions, such as multiplication, division, subtraction, and addition, which are all on the right bottom side of your calculator. You can also use your calculator for trig functions. You can also use your calculator to make fractions as well. Just use your division sign. Your calculator will always be um, solving operations in PEMDAS, so just make sure that you input them correctly. Um, one of the great things about this calculator is you can graph things on it. Notice how I clicked apps and functions. I inputted uh, the equation of a line. I clicked plot and I was able to graph that line pretty easily. Um, you can use the cursor to um, scroll up and down and see points of intersection, which is a great tool to use. Um, your calculator also has cast mode. Um, if it ever is in cast mode, just click the home button, the little house, to get out of it. Cast mode will do uh, very similar things to your main um, part of your calculator. However, um, you don't need to worry about going into it. Um, you can use your calculator to raise numbers to different powers, which is really helpful to use. So what I need you to do on your sheet right now is that for numbers 1, 2, and 3 you're going to write in 4, 25, and then the last number that I'm going to have you enter is going to be from a square root. So I'm going to click shift x squared. I'm going to get the square root of 9 is 3. So that's going to be in number 3 on your notability. Alrighty. So for the HP Prime, you should have put in those three numbers, which were 4, 25, and 3. And the keyword that you're going to use is Prime. Lastly, I want you to go back to the functions in apps. I want you to take a screenshot of your graph, and that's what I want you to submit for your picture. 